Then number two on the E5 part one boss. Land base Saint Andre. And see. ASW value. Hopefully this time Jerva is not gonna go Chuka. Let the alerts through real quick. Okay, we're good. There was one left. Start the sub note. I pause them, I don't like cancel them, okay? The alerts. An amazing Ashlyn. Can I have my land base disable all of the enemy submarines like they did all the time before the final dance? Oh, oh what happened? Four ASW bombers and, and there you go, okay. That's what I'm talking about. There's the damage. Damage avoided. And all we gotta do is reach the boss. Did I help you? Really? <laughs> Maestrale! Elchimo, what contract is that? Who wrote that? Node number two. Top flagship with what flagship? Flagship. Ne elite to elite double eight model DD up here. No prayer strikes happening. Uh, the contact has been acquired. Jervis and her captain triggers are supremacy secured. We take no damage from the opening air strike. Double DD brought down on the enemy side, and the opening torpedo finishes off already scratched Chuka. Parallel encounter shelling starts. Ne will be targeted by Gangud. Gangud always goes for the bolt th that will shoot first. Kisa avoids the net after Gangud failed to bring that down. Su will miss the Myoko. Myoko scratches wall for 22. Airstrike goes for Kiso. That will be an evasion. Ne torpedoes disabled. Maestrale attempts to take down Su, but there was indeed an attempt. There was an attempt, Mr. Chair. Only war remains. Roma begins the main fleet shelling AP car and going for the last remaining enemy. Or get a kill. I did not get Gotland yet, nope. If I did, I would bring Gotland over Maestrale. Do <laughs> Land base defense without land base defense takes damage only on the ASW land base, which means our bombers that go to the boss are fine. How are my bombers? Gambir Bay has seven torpedo bombers left on her second slot. Um, Zuika Kun 19 on second, Ark 15 on second. That's fine. The dive bombers are fine on the first slot. 372 air power, guaranteed air party. Yup, that is an air parity in sight. We didn't get the easiest formation on this node yet. 33% chance for that happening. No entire cat and air parity bombs coming. 31 damage on Zoizo now on yellow. Nukai will be eating opening torp and the mean diamond will take 5 damage. Last time, no one took any damage from the shelling other than the opening airstrike. Will that repeat? Gangud already says no Panoko. Ghost Chuha, 46 damage taken from literally the first attack in the node. Su brought to Taiha by Miyoko, airstrike goes for Agano. Agato also says no Panoko is on Chuha. Well, I wish I had this fucking invasion from previous sortie. Gangud avoids that Su. What about to shoot? The, the DD is still alive. We'll miss the Maestrale. Enemy torpedoes should not be able to connect as they are in Diamond. Nukai will avoid the Maestrale. Wolf Lakshab airstrike goes for the general Maestrale misses the shot. Ending torps going for the enemy. Jervis will... Go fucking Chuka from enemy torpedoes. 
Indictment! Second new brought down. New number one goes for Taiho. Taiho avoids the shot. Zui airstrike goes for the new that just shot. That new is disabled. What was is about to shoot. Gambir Bay has to disable the wall. And there was an attempt that was a successful attempt. Gambir Bay MVP right now. I mean, Yasen. Kiso and Yoko are still fine. Maestrale might do something. Maybe. Her da Maestrale damage right now is gonna be... 163. <laughs> 163 times 2. Because 2 attacks of 163. If she triggers, and we have yet to see her trigger a TCI. No, it's it's air parity can't dodge anything. You can S rank the I node before clearing part one is the same battle and it will count for the part three. We can do it later. Boss node begins. Zoe has nine planes left on her second slot. Gambier has six. And five on the first. Dude. Begin the boss battle. Three ships on Chuha and the Escort. Luckily, Escort doesn't shell against main fleet, but main fleet can't shell against Escort. Chicken food versus chicken food. Summer Peach Princess, CA Summer Princess, CV Summer Princess with three veteran late model elite. And land base number one will scratch that soon the escort to tie half veteran in the main fleet to Chuka. Second land base will come, get one kill in the escort, scratch on two princesses in the main fleet, land base number three. There was an attempt, CV him now on yellow and the last land base, can it get a kill? It will kill three veterans, lethality 75% on the last land base attack. Pretty solid. Opening air strike happening. Air superiority secured. Contact acquired with your plane and air captain triggers as well. The enemy bombers are left alive. It might be only. I mean, no shit, it will be one carrier left alive. Keys opening torp will bring down the remaining veteran in the main fleet. To your advantage, battle begins. Roma double attack goes for the summer. Sea princess leaks her on Chuka. CV Hime. Air strike goes for. Oh, Zui. Zui will avoid damage. War spy AP cutting goes for the peach. 0%. Ammo penalty, 303 damage, she's now on Chuka. Taiho tanks the summer, CA Hime takes no damage. Best captain from Zui goes for the CV Hime, should be a one shot, she's left at seven. Taiho on Chuka, but she already shot. Ark and Gambir Bay, wait, Gambir Bay already shot, so Ark is left. She triggers the best captain, goes for the CV Hime and deals one damage. Gambir Bay didn't shoot in the end, what the heck? 22 damage on the summer CA he met and Taiho didn't shoot either. Did I have a, like a deja vu? Best cut and goes for about 61 damage. She's left on Chuka. Three escorts alive after Gangut begins the escort shelling. Su, Taiha avoids Nyoko. Agano will avoid the full HP. Su, Veteran avoids Agano. Kiso misses the Veteran as well. Agano remains in the Yasen. Maestrale misses the enemy Jervis and scratches the Veteran to Taiha and one Su torpedo is coming for Nyoko. T advantage Torp brings Nyoko to yellow. She still has all the damage needed. BB Hime scratch for one by Gambir Bay. Gambir Bay goes Chuka, but we will not need her ever again. Next shot belongs to Wallspide. Wallspide will trigger the beep. This might be a kill just there. Is that a kill, AP Cotton? The mob has been beaten during the day. Kisa avoids the summer CA Hime. CV Hime targeted by Roma. If we can kill that Suriding during the day, we're gonna get the chance of Gotland for the night. Summer CA Hime brought to 5 HP. Can we get that Sue finished off, please? Either enemy dies, we're good. Wow, that Tsu is still alive. Final attack from Zui during the day goes for the Tsu. Will be a kill. No Yasen needed. Vivon. This is so sad. For Summer Beach Princess. I mean, BB Hime. B Peach. B BB Peach. And not Gotland. Yep. Oh, we have to refresh the game. It's been over an hour. Dun dun to the dun dun to the dun dun. A lot of route, boy. A lot of route. Part two unlocked.
Dun 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 Stammer Beach, he met Yao setup. Land base, all bombers again. Type 34 on the first land base for value air. Land base number two, any bombers you want. Land base number three had ASW. I think I'm gonna switch out that they. Yeah, we're gonna. We're definitely gonna take 12 minutes, so first we're gonna switch it out. Okay, and we're gonna need that TBM on the main fleet for the part two. And now. Dive Bomber, you say FCF Gambier. Gun Gun uh, Seaplane. Already a triple backslash. Osprey from E4. AP Shell on Warspite. AP Cutting on Roma. Dive Bomber Attacker, Fighter, Fighter, Bomber Attacker, Fighter, Fighter, Bomber Attacker, Fighter, Sion. TCI Maestrale. I never got to see it. She's 16 already. She got leveled to 16 from level 1. Because she could. Don't question it. Jarvis AACI double attack, AP Katten on uh, Gangut, that's a Yura plane skilled. Agano double attack, ninth plane, t uh, double, gun, double gun opening torpedo on Kiso, double torpedo gun and flare on Miyoko. This is a TCI setup if someone doesn't know. No, no node support, this was, uh, this was just sitting here. And that was E5 part 1. Yo, yo, dana. I guess this is where the hell 